subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. But I want to see, can this mid-range processor, the Snapdragon 660, keep up with the iPhone 10, which has probably the fastest processor on any phone on the market in the speed department in your day-to-day -day tasks? Let's begin with the boot-up test in 3, 2, 1, and see which one can boot up first. So BlackBerry logo does show first, and then the Apple logo, we're gonna see which one gets there. Now, the BlackBerry Key 2 does have six gigabytes of RAM. The iPhone 10 has three gigs of RAM. It's gonna start at 649.99, and the iPhone 10, of course, is still at its 999 price point. It might drop with the upcoming iPhones to 899, but we should see. Now, the iPhone 10 is way ahead in the boot up. This is probably due to that BlackBerry animation there, but a crushing win in the boot up time for the iPhone 10 over the BlackBerry Key 2. So confirming their software, I am running iOS 11.4 here for the iPhone 10 and we're running Android 8.1.0 Oreo for the BlackBerry Key 2. Now they both have a different type of way to get into the devices. On the BlackBerry, it's a fingerprint scanner built into the space bar over here. It's Face ID, so we're just gonna bypass that seeing as they both kind of get into the phone in very different ways. Okay guys, so we've arrived at the application portion of the speed test. You can see everything closed out on the BlackBerry, everything closed out for the iPhone 10. Let's begin with calendar. You could see calendar much faster for the iPhone 10. Let's go into clock. And you could see a little bit faster for the iPhone 10. What about calculator? And that's the iPhone 10. What about settings? And that was the BlackBerry Key 2 slightly. What about the Instagram? And Instagram is first on, it looked like on the right over the iPhone 10. It was very slight, like really slight. Now, if we go into the photos, you can see the animation a little faster for the BlackBerry side of things. Let's do another photo, just a little bit more of a transition on the iPhone 10. You can see BlackBerry again there. Let's go into Twitter. And Twitter is open first on the right, then on the left, scrolling speeds, fast versus smooth, Android versus iOS. We know how that goes. Coming home, let's go into Snapchat. You can see Snapchat on the left first. What about WhatsApp? WhatsApp on the right over the iPhone 10, YouTube. Okay, YouTube opens first for the iPhone 10. What about Netflix? So we're going into Netflix here and you see the BlackBerry Key 2 with a win there on Netflix. Let's go into Amazon. And you can see Amazon is first on the left slightly. I mean, but you can see that BlackBerry has definitely stepped up the performance on their latest BlackBerry device over the Key 2. It's our Key 1. It's actually pretty close to an iPhone 10 in performance. Let's go into eBay. And you can see eBay is first on the right. Now, I know you're going to say, well, it's not as fast as the iPhone 10 on paper. But, you know, in the real world, as you're seeing right here, it's pretty close. iPhone 10 is a win easily so here's where we're not even close when it comes to the gaming round it doesn't look like we're even close to the iphone 10 but you know most people are not going to be gaming on a key too so it doesn't really matter too much if it's close or not in gaming because I, I really don't think people are buying a blackberry key too for this aspect it's funny because they both kind of have something that gets in the way here the keyboard gets in the way on the blackberry key too but the notch gets in the way on the iphone 10 so they both got a little disturbance when it comes to gaming but man was that a huge win to the iphone 10 in that more graphically intensive dead trigger let's go into mario run you could see mario run loading up first on this is pretty close blackberry key 2 let's open this up and blackberry gets a slight win but looks like the iphone's taking the lead again over the blackberry so it says nope not in the gaming round i'm the winner so the iphone 10 definitely the much faster gaming device here over the BlackBerry Key 2, which is expected. We weren't expecting, you know, the Adreno 512 or whatever's in the BlackBerry Key 2 to beat this GPU that's in-house built on the iPhone 10. So, I mean, they, they optimize it much better for the iOS device. So we didn't expect that to beat, you know, the iPhone 10. Let's go into Slither and you could see Slither is first on the left and then on the right. Here's where Again, so in the gaming round, the BlackBerry just took a total loss to the iPhone 10 as we expected. Now, the Samsung devices get pretty close. Let's go into Video Shop, and you could see that's the iPhone 10. Let's go into Geekbench, and Geekbench is first on the left, then on the right. Speed test, and speed test about the same and in Chrome. 
you could see Chrome. Let's go into ESPN, three, two, one. And about the same. So I think what we've seen from this first round is that in gaming, the iPhone 10 is the winner. The BlackBerry can keep up with the iPhone 10 and your single everyday task, emailing, all that stuff, the things you're probably buying a BlackBerry for, you're not actually gonna miss out too much in the performance. It's pretty good performance here overall for the key two. We already know the iPhone 10 has great performance. Let's get on to the RAM management round. Okay, so here we're just gonna take a look at the RAM management. We already know the iPhone 10 really doesn't reload anything as it showed in all my past speed tests and I don't expect it to do anything here. So I'm just gonna quickly go through these as fast as possible. And you could see eBay, Amazon, pretty much perfect performance all the time when it comes to holding these applications in the background for iOS 10 or iOS 11 on the iPhone 10. I said iOS 10. Let's go into calculator and let's go into clock and calendar as expected. That's what we should see on a thousand dollar smartphone. Now over here on the BlackBerry Key 2, haven't tested the RAM management yet on this one. No reload so far, but six gigs of RAM should help this not have too much of a problem. Now you can see automatically that it's a little bit slower when it comes to just how fast it opens and closes things. And Jetpack, just a little bit slower here. eBay, but I'm not seeing any reloads yet, so that's a good sign. Netflix, YouTube, WhatsApp, Snapchat. So again, a little bit slower. Twitter and Instagram and settings and calculator, let's go to clock and calendar. So great RAM management here for the BlackBerry Key 2. There was no reloads here, so I'm calling it about a draw when it comes to just holding those apps. But in terms of just fluidity and the way it looks opening them, the iPhone 10 still looks a little bit faster than the Key 2. But for those of you who are gonna be using this and doing a bunch of things productivity based for your Key 2, it's gonna hold its own with that six gigs of RAM, no problems. Okay, so here we are at the Geekbench scores and you could see no competition. I mean, not even close for the Key 2 when it comes to these scores. As you would expect, I mean, the 660 is not gonna bench super high and it doesn't here. But you've seen in this video that the performance on the Key 2 is much upgraded over the Key 1. And in everyday tasks, it's really hard to distinguish the differences between an ultra premium flagship and you could say, you know, a mid-range processor in the BlackBerry Key 2. Now, I feel like this phone is actually premium in its own right. It's a premium BlackBerry smartphone. It just has more of a mid-level processor, but you know, if you're buying a BlackBerry Key 2, you just have to decide if you really want to use that keyboard on this device. That's really its selling point. Now, I didn't make this video to go ahead and try to convince you to come from an iPhone 10 to a Key 2. I just that just doesn't make sense to me. But at the same time, you've seen that iPhone 10 still sitting at the top as a great performer, but the BlackBerry Key 2 definitely has made strides over the Key 1. If you guys found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you wanna see other videos related to the Key 2, like some other speed tests, maybe some camera tests with this device to see how it performs, let me know your thoughts down below and check out my full review if you're thinking about buying one you need to know all the details. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next episode. Thank you very much.